the sun was shining, the birds were singing, and so was Doug. <laughs> He liked singing on his way to work. It made him feel better. Morning, Beth. Hiya. See me in, will you? said Mr. Rubble. I've got all this sand to unload. Right, said Doug. Keep going. That's it. Bit more. Raise the back when we shout now. Ow! No! Right, said Mr. Rubble, and pulled the lever to unload the sand. Funny, he thought to himself. They were here a minute ago. Morning, Mr. Rubble. Morning, Beth. Hi, Dig. Hi, Doug. Hello again, said Dig and Doug. Oh, I hope it's not going to be one of those days, said Mr. Rubble. Of course not, said Dig and Doug. Right, gentlemen, follow me and walk this way. Right, he said, and realised they weren't behind him. Oh, where have they gone now? What's the matter with you two today? Sorry, Mr Rubble, said Dig. Be with you in a minute. All ears, Mr Rubble, said Doug. And Mr Rubble explained that the bricks and sand were for the front wall of the building. Right, said Dig. So don't forget to leave a gap in the middle. Right, said Doug. What for? whispered Dig. The front doors, whispered Doug. OK, if I borrow your truck. Fine, said Doug. You can use my lorry if you like. Fine, said Dig. And Mr Rubble left them to it. Help me get this bucket off, Dig. So Dig did. Mr. Rubble's right, Dig. Looks like it's going to be one of those days. Let's get started before anything else goes wrong. So they did. To build the wall, they needed lots of bricks. Lots and lots of bricks. So many bricks that Dig was sure there was an easier way of moving them. I'm sure there's an easier way of moving them, Doug, said Dig. Hiya, said Beth. Doug had an idea. And he asked Beth if she could use her truck to move the rest of the bricks across for them. That's the lock, guys. Thanks, Beth, said Dig and Doug. We'll have that wall up in no time, said Doug. We will, said Dig. And so they began. Dig mixed the cement 
and took it across to Doug, who was getting on famously. Coming along famously, said Dig. Oh, it's coming along famously, all right, said Doug. Almost halfway, said Dig. Oh, it's almost halfway, all right, said Doug. Nearly there, said Dig. Oh, it's nearly there, all right, said Doug. Pretty well finished, said Dig. Oh, it's pretty well finished, all right, said Doug. Dig and Doug stood back to admire their work. Something's not right, Dig, said Doug. It isn't, Doug, said Dig. Something's there that shouldn't be. It is, replied Dig. Something wasn't right. Hi, guys. Got a passenger for you. Hello, Daisy, said Dig and Doug. Oh, no, she said. Who drove the lorry through the wall? Dig and Doug suddenly realised what they'd done. They'd built the wall around the lorry, and now it was stuck. <gasps> oh, what are we going to do, said Dig. The first thing, said Daisy, is not to panic. Right, right, said Dig and Doug. And the second thing is to try and move the lorry. So they did. Back a bit, shouted Daisy. Gently! That's it! Keep going! Careful, Uncle Doug! Bit by bit, the lorry moved away from the wall. The only trouble was, Dig got left behind. Help! Oh, no, said Daisy, and wondered what else could go wrong. Hello, young lady. Well, how's my wall coming along, Doug? Hello, Mr. Rubble, said Doug. Bert's going to lower your doors in with the crane. Perfect, said Mr. Rubble. But where has Dig got to? Here I am, Mr. Rubble. Just checking that the doors work. <laughs> 